I'm gonna look at myself. Okay. Hi, I'm Camille Shane. This is my little sister. And um, we're doing another vlog about basically the comparisons with the US Capitol and the Black Lives Matter protests that I've been seeing people want to sit here and compare the two. And we definitely could have break that mold. Um, we're looking up stuff. I wanted to see how many people did actually die during the um, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, when they were trying to do the impeachment for Trump, one lady for said, for the second time, <laughs> important, um, somebody said 47. I looked that up and so far I've only seen like 25 initially, not 47, but you said that people just went missing it. Yeah, a lot of people were getting picked up by unregistered vans, uh, off-duty police officers in street clothes, and the likes of them. So random people were pulling up in vans, trucks, cars, and just snatching people off of bikes, off the street, out of crowds, tossing them into these cars, and then just driving off. A lot of people have been reported missing and haven't been found. And that is terrifying and concerning because with the with the rise of like the human trafficking spike, I feel like human traffickers took advantage of those moments to just grab the belt and dip off into the night. It's like, horrifying to think about. Yes, and these were all young people. They were all like in their teens, like under the age of like, if they're not under the age of 18, they're probably like 22 or 23, which is yeah. primary human trafficking age. Yeah. But I digress. Um, you were talking about victims specifically the two police officers that were killed at the capitol now i've been going they've been going back and forth on that because initially we know it was one for fact but then they beat him in the head with a fire they station. said he was beaten to death but y'all want to sit here and say black lives matter i'm not sitting here and defending anything about the deaths at all for black lives matter you know what's ironic okay. is and i've seen this a trillion times everywhere is these same conservative Christian people who were screaming blue, blue lives, lives matter, matter literally beat a police officer to death, to death with a uh, fire extinguisher. The ones who were screaming all lives matter, what about this and that, but y'all sat here and y'all are trying to defend the Capitol riot. And these were the same people who raided the Capitol building with like attempts to attempts. murder or hold hostage members of Congress. They came there with nooses, with guns, with bombs. Yeah, with we're explosives. screaming, hang Mike Pence. And <laughs> it's not funny. It is not. I'm That's laughing because Mike Pence is like the loyal knight of Donald Trump. If you're looking at it from a is strong standpoint, he was like your number one guy. He was. And one day, maybe he just decided or he just came to the realization that he just didn't like everything that you was going about it, it's your last month mm -hmm. as president you know he's doing his job as vp and doing what he has to do and y'all literally hated this man for that yeah, and y'all tried to kill that. him you tried to can we talk about um eugene goodman for just a hot second because mm -hmm. eugene goodman is the security officer at the state capitol you've probably Let seen the, the videos of the crazy mob of people chasing him when i saw that, the... that that horrified me i was so scared watching that but the then time. i saw some more videos surfacing about eugene goodman and the things that he, he did. did so that that chase was a diversion Virgin. to keep that crowd of people from the room where mike pence and several other congressmen and women were hiding in fear of their lives he antagonized that crowd and lured them into a trap with about, you know, another the, little fleet yeah. of security officers and they all got arrested on site. So he literally sacrificed himself to save all of those people. And I don't if I can find that's, that's the wildest yeah. thing. Because when I first that's saw it, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, why is he running? And then I was like, oh. He peeped around that corner and saw he that wasn't was nobody guarding that room. To the fullest. So he said, okay, I'm going to lure you guys upstairs. And when they got upstairs, mm -hmm. they got arrested. So we're going to go ahead and say those with facts because I was watching and I was terrified. I'm thinking we better watch this man get killed. My heart was racing the whole time watching that, especially when he opens up the door and he's saying, stand back. One guy points to him and says, we're coming for you. Like He had a plan. He had a plan that was and he set executed his stone. it. And that's why I'm saying we can't really compare this to Black Lives Matter, like, because we're not allowed to blame one bad cop for the other good 99. But, but y'all wanted to sit here and blame the whole Black Lives Matter organization for these 
asshole looters who decided I'm finna sit here and destroy Target and steal this 60 inch TV. Now I'm gonna advocate for just a hot second from personal experience. I've only had maybe two instances with bad cops. One of them, I was very, very young. I was maybe 11 years old. This is a very interesting story. Uh, it was me, our mother, and our aunt sitting in front of what it used to be the Kmart in Nashville. And we were parked in the fire zone because she was just gonna run in and out real quick, do a return. The officer came up to the window and was snobby and, and mean and rude and completely disrespectful. Like venom spit from his lips when he spoke. And I was like, you are just the worst type. I was thinking this as a child. Q about five minutes later, he goes in, finds our mother, comes out smiling, giggling, blushing, our mother has flirting. A and we she, want to point that out She's real a quick. superhero. <laughs> First of all, and then I remember another time, this is when our oldest brother was driving the car with our mother that. in the car. Oh, he had gotten okay. put into the back of the police car. And I was hysterical because I was like, what did he do? Wait, Why you said that wasn't with me? It might have been. No, that was with me. You, I don't know. You, but, said, you said, no, it wasn't with me. Okay, when he was was taking with. us to the church. I don't know where we were going. No, we were going to church with <laughs> him. He went down that back way. They pulled him over. Okay, whatever. They arrested him and they put him in. The, I'm like, oh. I'm oh, freaking well, out. I'm I, freaking out. I didn't out. know how to drive at the time either. And we were just so confused. We got out the car. We shouldn't have done that. But I was, you know, I was like 17 and I didn't have my license yet. So I couldn't just drive. Yeah, that makes sense. I was, I was yeah. yeah, and we was just so confused. Like, can y'all get back in the car, please? Like, okay. Just... And, did, I, I, and did we end up calling daddy or something? I can't, I don't I can't know, remember how we, that incident ended, but I mean. But we didn't go to church that night for one. And that he didn't go to jail either, I don't think. No, nah, he did, but y'all have y'all had to arrest him in front of his little sisters like that. I mean, we was, it was, we was confused. But, we was scared. We didn't know what was going to happen. So besides from those two instances, and this is going to sound horrible. But the Metro National Police Department are like terrible at their jobs. They are. They okay. are horrible at it. So maybe we were just lucky enough to be blessed to be living in a city yeah. where the police officers just don't care. So you don't hear too much about any police gonna, brutality yeah, or yeah. racial discrimination, but it can still happen. Though. Well, it you does, can't, you it can't does, say that. It when, does happen. Remember Reggie's graduation? We're driving the GameStop? No. You don't remember that? No. I was driving and then y'all said, come out, I think we're being pulled over. I do remember that. Girl, I was like, you can't forget that. Because <laughs> um, I put my seatbelt on like the very last Yeah, time. My seatbelt um, on. She in the back. I'm driving. Our little brother just, my little brother, her older brother, she's the baby, um, just graduated high school. He bought an Xbox, mm -hmm. right? Um, it didn't work right, so we're on our way back to the mall to go return it. Um, I saw the police officer. And I, I was like, I, I don't have my seatbelt on. And I, I saw it on her, but I wasn't was, thinking... I saw him too, but I wasn't thinking anything of it because why? I wasn't speeding. I wasn't swerving. I wasn't going from lane to lane. Yeah, I saw the lights happen to be flashing. And then y'all like, Camille, I think we've been pulled over. I'm like, no, we're not. And then when them lights, then when the siren went, I was like, oh, what did I do? That was just so confusing. But we pull over and stuff. And well, they just asking the most just stupid questions. Um, where y'all going? Like, to return this Xbox. Um, both of the cops got out. I'll never forget that. Both of them got out. Then they asked Reggie for his ID. Looking back on that now, I really wish I would have said, he ain't driving. What you need his ID for? I really wish I would have said something. And but that's I, a maybe good, good that I didn't, of, but uh, racial discrimination. But I was too young to even realize what was going on. I okay. thought it was because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. And I you put it, hopped in the back. You I moved put it around on. and stuff. You old enough to know to at put the your very last on. minute, but I'm also not in the car with mom and daddy who at the time would regulate, mm -hmm. like put, put on your seatbelt. Seat belt. Don't say you was that young. You was like, hold on, how old was you? Like 15. No, wait, hold on. I wasn't that. I wasn't that old. No, wait. Reggie just graduated. Yes, it was. No, I wasn't doing all that. But, yeah. yeah, but you were trying to hurry and put your seatbelt on real quick and like, yeah, I was going to focus on him, but not her. She one who definitely didn't have her seatbelt on. But that was the bull bullshit reason on why they pulled us off because he didn't have his seatbelt on. Like, first off, y'all was behind us. How did y'all even know that first and foremost? And, and then just, what again, what did y'all need his ID for? He wasn't driving and I wasn't speeding. I wasn't doing anything. Any so other just, instance that situation could have escalated to something Yeah, so I mean, looking bigger. at that now, we just kind of got off with a warning. Um, it was our mother's car, so we're digging through it. Like, Mama Wayo had to call her up. And Mama Wayo, proof of insurance that we got pulled over. Like, y'all good? Like, yeah, we just need to make sure you got insurance. And that whole situation was stupid. Yeah. And again, two cops, three of us. I went two teenagers, me, I'm like 22. Like, what did y'all really, did y'all need to do that for? It wasn't necessary. 
No, it wasn't. I mean, and then you will find it more often than not that police officers do things that are just unnecessary. They just wanted to fuck with us. There ain't no really other way to say that. I mean, and that's Situation, some of them yeah. just get off on doing stuff like that. Yeah, like, ain't no other way to say that. But now so it's just to sit like, here and say that they don't see color is bullshit. And because when we repeated that story to people, they just saw three black kids in the car. That's what they did. That's why mom said, like, that's why I don't want y'all driving that car. They just pulled y'all over for no reason. I mean, so what was y'all doing? Like, I wasn't speeding. I was in one lane and he was just driving. But I think it just goes to show just like the history of police officers Driving and just, black. they're just being bullies like they're the biggest bully squad in the country but i mean and maybe things will be different now maybe they won't maybe well you can't really say that this is the big area or this is metro nashville that was getting more populated there that doesn't mean but, they're getting better at their jobs oh god no but i'm talking about like are they going to change possibly because davidson county i've seen the, Tennessee the, the now blue, hiring the sign county. for the metro police like, department maybe the people our ages your age will get into that and realize i need to make a difference and i got to make a difference between what thing because like i said davidson county is a blue county yep um every election davidson county is bleeding blue the tennessee the city itself, of nashville is, yeah the um nashville is, tennessee itself is a red, red state, state so the nashville itself is a blue city blue city blue proud comparisons between blm and the capital riot which we can't even call them riot at this point they're domestic terrorists like domestic that's what they terrorism are terrorism to they, the fullest. let's know yeah let's make that clear they are domestic that's terrorists. domestic terrorism they, to they stormed the a capitol fullest. building and then they had men on the inside who helped them because yeah. i saw that was real that one i saw the real that, video they then the cop hey come here he looks on. Thank you, man. And they do shook his hand back like that one. Police you know, officers moved the barriers out of the way, and more people kept rushing to them like, to come I in. I see you taking this up, and that means oh, I can come on in, and we can they do whatever. They said that the panic buttons in all of the Congress rooms were ripped out of their sockets, not removed, not turned off, but ripped, ripped out. out of their so that means somebody came in there and deliberately tampered with their panic button so they wouldn't be able to yeah. call for help. They had congressmen and women hiding in broom closets. Comments terrified that they were going to die by the hands of a man who wasn't even there to witness it. You said you wanted to mention his speech. Okay. I'm going to take our country back. And it's like, first of all, take your country back from what? Take what it back you... from you, your great granddaddy? Yeah. All right. And, 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 and the thing that... Well, are not going to Oh, wow. Congress. Congress. Let's make something very fucking clear. No point. What did he think was going to happen after he said that shit? No, let me tell you. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he the fuck exactly he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was saying. Everything that was mentioned in that speech was with the intent to rowdy up his and it, band of it followers. Fucking works. And, and this is what I was going to say. He was on the outskirts of the Capitol like off on the hill in the distance in a tent. Him and his little party had Ted Cruz that had his wife and had a bunch of other stupid people and they were watching it like it was a TV show or a movie. Like they were watching the these people storm in with their flags and their nooses and... I want to point out that somebody was walking around the fucking Capitol with a goddamn correct Confederate flag. Yeah. What that got to do with a motherfucking thing? They had Confederate it flags. Don't. They had... Trump I flag. don't care for the they Confederate had Blue flag. Lives I, Matter flag, but they're beating y'all beat a police officer to, to death. Y'all point, yeah, here it is, like the video showing up right now of Mr. Eugene. Like, sir, we thank you, we respect you, because I was in fear for your life watching that, and that man pointed at you and said, "We're coming for you." That's terrifying. His man. life meant shit to them. Y'all talk about Blue Lives Matter. He's a police officer. He, he, his life meant shit to y'all. It just it, it just riled my stomach when I saw that video. They were, they're having like a party, like a garden party, watching it and on multiple screens please. and TVs, watching everything unravel. And the thing that makes it, that just digs the knife deeper into your gut is that Mike Pence was in the Capitol building. And they knew that. And, and he didn't care. Well, the video, we're definitely not going to play the video of that woman getting shot, but 
I, I saw like a like a full footage of that. I don't, week that I, don't play that one, I don't but. care. But um just the fact that it was supposed to be your right hand man and you fed him up. him under the you, you fed, fed him, him to the wolves. Let's rephrase it. You fed him to the wolves. You didn't care what happened to him. Didn't care. And then people had just as quick as your fan base, as quick as your cult turned on him, and now they're threatening his life. Lips. Now they're screaming hang him. In a, in a this is how they, they flipped just like that. Just like that. And that was it. It's, it's the, the craziness of this man literally started an actual cult. Yeah. So with a little less than half of the US like, population. So I say like, here's the comparison. Like I said, Black Lives Matter movements, people that one person in particular I want to talk about was David Dorn. He was a retired police officer who was killed during those um, riots trying to stop a pawn shop from being broken into. That person, what we're looking at, Crime Stoppers wanted a $10,000 reward for his information. It's been raised to 56000 And looking, thinking about it now, they probably broke into the pawn shop to receive guns and ammunition. Because More than likely. Pawn shops have weapons in they a plethora. Got, it's a pawn shop. <laughs> what you want to So they, they have it. guns. They have ammunition. They have other weapons. They have knives. Brass knuckles, like knives, knives, what you use, like, skin, beer, like katanas whatever. and stuff. Like, they have yeah. weapons at their disposal. So, my best guess is they were doing that to, to yeah, and he tried to stop it. And he had every right to be there because he's old and retired. Like, no, that's his community. He was doing what he was trying to do to protect it. And, um, like, I'm reading this 20, 24 year old suspect named Stephen Cannon. I said I wasn't gonna say his name, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get to that later too. But um, he was arrested and charged with first degree murder. Um, he deserves it. Not for just a hand to defend that in any way, shape, or form. And we're reading this that the aftermath of small ceremony was made for him, handwritten sign stating, Y'all killed a black man because they killed a black man. Yeah. Yeah. That I mean, and, no I, I, and I feel like the argument, trying to argue with conservatives at this point is just a waste of time. Because yeah. I feel like conservatives are the most closed-minded individuals to ever exist on the planet. They are narcissistic, entitled, and conservative. Their name fits them properly. So trying to convince them to be open-minded, to be, yeah. you know, more kind-hearted, to think outside of their ways, even for a second in consideration for somebody else is just a waste of time. They're not going to think like that. Again, I'm not defending that in any way, shape, or form. I'm glad they caught that little dumbass. I'm, I hope he rots in fucking jail. He's not, I hope he never sees the light of day again. We're not defending that in any way, shape, or form. Y'all shouldn't have been um, destroying these businesses, destroying these stores. Oh, but what about all the riots that Black Lives Matter started? Right. Keep in mind. And people started and I've seen the stats protecting for this. after that. I've seen the stats for this. The Black Lives Matter riots count for about 7% of the entirety of the protest that went on for, what, a three-month period? And, I feel like it was longer than that. And know. I'm going to say over 90% of the 7% were started by police officers. Ooh, so wow. you remember those videos circulating of police officers dropping piles of bricks Brick by a building, yeah. stealing jugs of water, preventing people from getting yeah. milk, from mm -hmm. getting pepper sprayed. They induced all of that. Yeah. So um, the rioters from the Black Lives Matter and a lot were more people. Officers. Basically, when innocent other people started dying, and they realizing, okay, we need to chill this out because next time they're coming in here and they're going to be using lethal force, mm -hmm. and everybody's going to be taken out. But you know, I saw crazy. plenty of videos of people. A hey, quit. They're like people, human chain in front of y'all. Not going to destroy another Target store. Yeah. I don't care what the CEO say. Y'all not going to destroy this store. Y'all yeah. not going to sit here and keep giving us. A but bad it's name. not the BLM protesters that were destroying the store. Yeah. The, right. People will take advantage of a riot situation to loot, to vandalize, yeah. to people do whatever. People sit here, make a cocktail, and I just, I just want to burn shit. I mean, no fucking. I can't say that I blame them, but I also am not that destructive, so I wouldn't. I'm not a psycho. No one. But because when the stuff happened here in Nashville downtown, they pictures they show were like three white people trying to break into the. And all three of them got arrested. All three of them got arrested. <laughs> Oh my down there. God! We're, we're the none of them got arrested or tear gas, and I was so thankful. For but that. it didn't get. I mean, the no, the, the tear gas got brought out. I saw a lot of people laughing. But it didn't get like it didn't get like crazy. They 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 did vandalize uh, the Mumbrian. The Mumbrian was in Korean vet. I'm sorry, Korean vet got messed up pretty bad, but it wasn't like catastrophic. And they did burn down that one 
building, but <laughs> uh, which, no, it those people just... got arrested for it, so yeah. that's that's not that bad. I mean, but people was destroying like a Nike outlet, like y'all don't care about y'all don't care about George Floyd, y'all don't care about Breonna Taylor, y'all just trying to steal shit. So and, with that being said, fuck y'all. And I love the ones that, who did that shit. the protest in Nashville was started by a bunch of teenagers. It was four teenage girls between the ages of like fifteen and seventeen. Got together on social media. I wish and I knew millions y'all. Names, of but that's what's up. up. We love y'all. For like that. that was the wildest. I didn't think it was gonna be that many people, but there were it, millions of people. It was fantastic, and I hate that I didn't make it down here for that. Um, you what brought I'm, up um, Breonna Taylor. Yeah, I did, and Breonna Taylor's case. Any in, any case involving a woman that I can relate to on a any plethora of a level. Hurts my heart, especially. Mm. And the thing that really grinds my gears about this case is that she was asleep. She was in her house. She was, a, it was three o'clock in the morning. She had just gotten off of work, double shift as an EMT in a hospital during a goddamn pandemic. And they shot through the walls. And were charged for the fucking bullets. They were that charged her. for the, the wall holes. They weren't, she got shot eight times, bro. Yeah. Her boyfriend jumped out of that bed with the lickety split quickness and fired back because I he's under the impression too. that someone is breaking into his house. He calls the police in a panic. My girlfriend just got shot. He runs outside and sees police cars everywhere and thinking, great, I got help. They arrested this man um, for trying to save his girlfriend's life and they let her bleed out. And then I saw later that the damn police officers didn't even inform her mother about what really happened. They had her beating around the bush for like three days. For three days! She didn't know what happened to her daughter. Her and our brother are the same age. So I was like immediate thought, like, that's my little fuzzy baby. And that like, y'all took her life that away. That scratched my soul with razor blades, bro. She mm. was asleep. And I can say the Trump administration definitely brought out a lot of people's true colors. Because that's like an old coworker of mine. I will never say that fucking girl's name. But an old coworker of mine's when the election first started, she was a proud supporter. Like, okay, whatever. Um, and then when we did the comparison with somebody had made just like a picture of Brianna and Emmett Till. Mm-hmm. So I post that, of course, you know, because it was 63 years apart, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. and then I'm not saying that she's about that, but that's not about right. No, it's actually like, something like that. But anyway, um, the ex coworker comments I want to talk about. Well, he was bludgeoned to death, and you no, know, she was doing this. So it's like the same thing. I'm um, trying to watch. It I now. was really trying because to, I know that you don't. I like was it, trying my best to what go back. Did she do? Please, I said she was sleep. Oh, that's what God, I said. Tell me what um, she did. My because I've heard. Oh well, her boyfriend was a dope dealer. First of all, no, they were looking for somebody first else. First of all, but no, 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 no. First of all, and that person was in custody. Her ex-boyfriend got charged with uh, a marijuana charge, which is a mild offense. Mm-hmm. And he already served his time for that. The person that she was with currently had no records, no charges, nothing against him, yeah. nothing on his person. He was a legal carrying firearm. Like he could legally carry a firearm. Yeah. He had a license to carry and he used it in self defense and they yeah. arrested him. Like I said, the person she kept hopping on there saying this and that. Mama jumped on there. Actually, I got mad and said, Girl, shut up. And then Mama jumped on there and said, All right, STFU, who is this anyway? And then she texted me and said, Come here, quit arguing with this robot. I'm like, Actually, this is a real person. I know who this person is. Um, what the fuck? I haven't and been able to. She kept, she kept person. fucking going. That was the crazy thing. And then I finally just got mad. Said, "Shut the fuck up and unfriend me," this, because true colors came out I right there. It's just like, you, how can you sit here and defend something like that? I you haven't can. been able to find a and single I, and person I even with a sat single here. justifiable reason to justify Brianna Taylor. Not a Hillary. single you can. one. You can't. And I sat here and said, like. If you're a licensed gun owner and somebody comes to your house and you shoot, your family really finna sit here and say the cops are doing their job? No, they're gonna want somebody's fucking head on the stick. Especially she, if your significant fucking, other gets shot. They kept defending it. Like, how are you defending this? There's nothing to defend. Just, yeah, like, nah, I have no problem fucking cussing you out and blocking your ass. And I think the it's thing just, that really gets under my skin about the Breonna Taylor case, that could have been anybody. That could have been That literally anybody. could have been anyone on the planet. That could have been you. There is nothing that stopping that been police anybody. officers from busting down your door and shooting in blindly and killing anybody in sight. And then mm-hmm. only get charged 
for the damage they've done to the to wall. Damn wall over there because you could have hit the neighbor. Okay, you didn't you hit the neighbor. You literally, you the literally fuck? killed somebody. This person is dead, and that doesn't matter. Like, and and I thought the Ahmad Arbery situation was going to really grind my gears, but. The Breonna Taylor thing happened in I know, March. That still pisses me off too. The Breonna Taylor thing happened in March. It and didn't get happened. light until May. And, and his happened in February. And it's just like, and they weren't even police officers. Those were just two fuck those, those people. Just and two. they are, and they did get, I was going to look it up already, but they did get arrested. They yeah, they got arrested. They got charged. They're getting charged for that, and it's deserved. Like, and when it comes to the, yeah, yeah, like nobody. And when it comes to the, um, and this is the thing that I love, this is the irony that I think is absolutely beautiful about the capital domestic terrorists. Every single person. Damn near everybody. Let's 150. Let's pull this up Last time I quick. checked, it was 150 plus. And this isn't a local police thing. This is the FBI. Yeah, let's look. This the, up. Again, we live in Tennessee. Um, I live in Murfreesboro, so I'm driving in and I'm seeing that all over the They have board. billboards. If you have any tips about the U.S. Capitol riots, please call this. Like, the FBI is looking for I mean, these people, bro. Y'all like, going to jail. Going to if you did that shit and I got your a little bit of your face on that and camera, a lot of people were you're going streaming. to jail. A lot of people, I'm seeing videos of motherfuckers getting snatched off of airplanes, getting beat down <laughs> in airports, <laughs> losing their jobs, their family is disowning them, they're getting reported. Again, the nigga with fuck the, you, Elizabeth. The nigga with the horns got arrested and he on some real white privilege nonsense gonna hit him, hit him with the oh I can't eat the food because it's not organic. I hope you Fuck starve. You, bitch. I hope you starve to death. And it's the funniest thing ever. And uh, last time like I said last time I checked it was 150 plus. Every so single one. Been saying, so this was just updated on the 15th. Today is the 24th. Oh, yeah. There's that asshole right there. Right there. And look at the comparison. That's my all gone now. Look at how stupid he is. <laughs> stupid jackass. The dude who um oh this is this is this is no. this is rich. Asshole. Uh the man who was caught with his feet propped up on Nancy Pelosi's desk, she filed a personal. <laughs> she filed that herself. She made sure that he was going to jail, oh and of course he got caught up. That I, he's in jail now. He's also mad being. at him. He on my desk. Who's this? Yeah, I can she, feel my desk. No, she get him. took that very, very personal. I would have too. And she filed that suit herself. I would have in a heartbeat. This motherfucker got mud all over him. No, arrest him. No, I'm filing charge. That's my good. What? What is that? I don't even know. Just that arrest him. My beautiful oak desk. Yeah, that, that, that shit was expensive. And yeah, he damaged it. I'm suing him for damages. He for a fucking desk. Yep. Arrest now, him. Now, what I heard. <laughs> And I follow a lot of um, political speakers on TikTok, and they keep me updated with things that are happening with uh, the domestic lives. terrorists. Yeah, Twitter too. Um, they're all getting like charged lightly just so they can get them pulled in. But of course, as they sit in their jail cells waiting for their lawyers to come and bail them out, mm -hmm. they're getting more charges pinned on top of that. So right now, the charges are very minimal. But as long as they can get them arrested for something, they can connect them back to that day and get them for treason, which is a humongous deal. If you don't know, mm -hmm. treason oh, yes. if you did not know that treason is treason is the automatic death penalty. You threaten the president or vice president in this case, life, you are going to be executed. And I, I hope like this the is woman in. who got shot, sis. Which she was given a fair warning before she got shot. She, the they side. were standing there. With, we're not gonna show the video. We're not gonna show the video because it is pretty graphic. It is pretty graphic. But I haven't seen it. I heard a lot. Of I, if she about. had children, my heart goes out to her children. I don't even care about them. Um, um, Michael Rappaport. He is. I follow him like crazy, and um, he posted this like the woman who was shot and killed while invading the Capitol building was a criminal who broke the law. Sometimes unfortunate things happen when you're committing crimes and putting yourself in harm's way. That could not be explained any fucking better. Like they're standing right there with the gun and apparently pencils in that room, wasn't it? Yep. That's what I've been here. Fucking and vice president say, if of you the United come in States here, was in that room. If you come in here, we're gonna shoot you. Yeah, I want again the fucking um ex coworker of mine. She talking about mm -hmm. the cops doing their jobs. Everybody else wants to sit here and say cops were doing their jobs. Secret Service are trained to shoot and kill. That you shoot you do not get a you never. do not get a warning. Nope. You do not get a shot to the leg nope. to basically stop you. Nope. They shoot to kill 
point fucking blank. Period. And that's why only the most loyal of loyals and the trusted of trusted are secret yeah. service members. And anybody can basically be a police officer. Yeah, anybody can be a trigger happy cop. That's why them small towns. That's why we always say we want to drive through Tennessee, but I'm low key scared to do that. I'm not yeah. driving through nothing. We we talked about doing that at one point. Then as we got older, like hmm, the KKK side of here, should we really do that? Probably not. Unless you're just going like a straight shot to Memphis, and then you'll probably yeah, be safe there. And maybe, and maybe because but... niggas from Memphis are crazy, but <laughs> that's just that's and that's something that we hate that we can't do because if we go to certain rural areas, you honestly don't know how those people are gonna be, and it's just honestly just not that for us to do that. And um, more is. videos about the woman. I refuse to say her name because I just refuse. To I, I don't know what name. it is. I, I've heard it a couple of times. And I, I know her name. We just like to give her no and, credit. And this is another thing. People were trying that... to start the things like she's an ex veteran. She deserved better than that. She was breaking the fucking law. You were she trying was... to go attack the vice president. Now, well, here's my question. What would have happened? happened? What would have happened if she would have got in that room? Exactly. They don't. They don't. They don't you care. weren't getting no closeness. You weren't getting no closer. And, and again, that's why Arm I just refuse to waiting. argue with conservatives because there's no changing their mind. They're yeah, too narcissistic. Um, They're too much into themselves. I was going to bring up this one person on Twitter, but nobody really seems to know who she is too much. And I'm going to know it. Just keep it away because I'm tired of giving this girl fucking credit. But um, she had posted an innocent woman was an unarmed woman was killed in cold blood. Like the woman who was climbing through a window trying to get to the vice president Bro. after the secret service was saying stop and stop and literally and literally second she but her ass busted that window what did you think with and literally she, the fact that she's an ex-military anything that anybody says i'm gonna hit them with the brianna taylor was speaking her room bro. she actually did the woman who was killed she actually did talk about that like, i'm not trying she to said it. oh yeah we definitely sure ain't playing that because that that made me feel like that's why there's I'm nothing here. that you can say if you can't if you can sit here and justify brianna why taylor. she was killed okay. you can't i'm not justifying okay. that being else. said if y'all can sit here and justify brianna taylor's killer we're gonna sit here her. and justify this fucking woman getting killed at the capitol because i don't care what the fuck that you think was gonna happen i don't care secret service they gonna shoot you, and I will. You I will in, hold that to my heart. In, I don't care how much I hated Donald Trump. I'm not to ever come at that man with an axe because that's gonna be my last fucking day. Breather. You couldn't they even talk them. about Donald Trump on your social media. Secret Service will be. That was a video of a woman on TikTok. She is making threats to basically everybody, <laughs> and she said, "Oh, if you think we're not gonna take action oh, now, just, just you wait and see. We're coming for you." And then they were like, "Um." She was like, oh, you're reporting my videos to the FBI? Ha, 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 like I care. What? Three days later, the Secret Service it. is interviewing her family, looking for her. She's AWOL. She's, on the, she's off the grid because the FBI is looking for her. Like, she's right probably now. anonymous, let's be real. But no, she was showing her face. So if she don't say hidden off, they gonna, they probably already found her. Hair that works that was, wonder. We just say. I just thought that was hilarious. because like, he talking all of this madness. And you ended she know up her ass, She know her ass going to jail, so which uh, gets me. Why no, do, stay safe wherever you are. Stay safe. <laughs> which gets me. Why do people post like you can't threaten political figures? Mm-hmm. Why Kathy would you, Griffin got blackballed for that for doing that thing about Donald Trump? And honestly, I defend her on that one. I love yeah. Kathy Griffin, but she was like Kathy even, Griffin. We stand with you. But even still, regular people, what makes you think you can get away with threatening people in political positions? Mm-hmm. In high that's political true. power, what makes you think that that's like okay? Like mm-hmm. you can't even the, the mm-hmm. FBI watches everything that everybody does. It's a, it's an inside joke or a running joke that like you know your phone camera is always on, mm-hmm. your phone microphone is always People on. People don't use the fingerprint technology because of how they trace or you. the facial recognition when you do filters on Snapchat and Instagram and all. I want to say stuff. if you ever walk into a place where security cameras on there, the FBI has your picture. You got. A driver's license, the FBI has your picture. Yeah, so it's security so, card. So they know security everything card. about they you. They know everything about you. So the what makes do, you think social media does make it easier, but end of the day, they already got you from But birth. what makes you think that you can just I mean you freedom of religion expression, whatever, sure. You can run with that little argument all day, but what makes you think that they're not going to catch up with you after saying Eventually. some really outlandish Eventually. things about like you're gonna get caught up. It's yeah. only a matter of time. So that just makes me laugh. Like, what, 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 what's going on in your head, man? Like, why are you? Well, yeah, this isn't okay. You can't say that. Like, that's why I've tried to tell people don't even make jokes about it because they will come and find you, and you will get arrested. It don't yeah. matter if they think if you if you was just joking. They don't see it as a joke. It's not funny. Like, and this is a little off topic, but like kids who will go onto game sites 
and make jokes about going to schools the next day and shooting them up. They'll get arrested. Well, that's the don't do that immediately. Don't do that. Like that's a little off topic, but that's just another thing that proves I my mean, point. It's facts though. Just you don't can't, do that. You can't, you can't say hide. that. You can't you have they're gonna find that. you. So for all these capital riders, we don't feel bad for you. Y'all sitting here taking selfies. Oh. That dumb ass smile proudly on oh, camera. Oh, Yo, oh, you was gonna get oh, caught. Then they say was trying to sell that shit on eBay or something. There was a woman. There was a woman. Was was Elizabeth, fuck you, Elizabeth. I don't know who Elizabeth is, but there, there was, was a woman who, who they felt her. She fell she, down in their stairs. No, 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 no. no. Uh, she was like, a, she's a like Bond mom from like Vermont or something like that. She was there. Okay. At the at the riot at the Capitol, she was she was walking in. She was live streaming. They got her on the surveillance camera walking in. They got her on her phone live streaming from your Snapchat. And then and then like a couple days later, she gets caught up by the FBI. She's on the news. She's pleading. She's crying. She's begging (laughs) Donald Trump, please come and save me. I did everything that you told me to do. You were supposed to be there for me. You were supposed to help me. Please get me out of this. I was only doing what you said. You look so stupid. <laughs> you look uh, like an idiot. Was he going to pardon you like he did everybody else? Which, no, by the way, fuck you. By the way, people love to talk about, oh, well, he pardoned Kodak Black and, and Lil Wayne. He must not be racist. First of all, oh, I heard that, that was a contractual thing because fuck they spoke first off. for him and now he's bailing them out. Second of all, Kodak Black is a sexual predator, and I don't know, I don't support that. Exactly. So, well, I don't care about him no, anyway. Fuck him. He can stay in jail for all I care. This, I mean, this, people were making jokes about, oh, well, he should pardon R. Kelly too. Fuck R. Kelly, keep his ass in jail. <laughs> Kodak Black is a sexual predator. He has mentioned in several occasions that he would, uh, excuse my language, he would fuck him, uh, young and May straight. Which, if you know who Young May is, she's the, the female rapper. Who I know just who she is, dude. and trust me, you ain't getting near her. And she, she thought that that was very, very weird. It made her very uncomfortable. Yeah. He talked about, he was saying some very outlandish and overly sexual explicit things about Lauren London right after Nipsey Hussle passed away, which was really disrespectful. disrespectful. And he said on multiple occasions that he doesn't even like dark skinned black women because he doesn't want dark skinned black babies. This nigga, nigga is darker than me. And I was like, this nigga. And he only has like theater. white girls in his music videos. I just don't think that that's cool. So I don't support this nigga further than I can throw him. Fuck he can him. stay where he's at as far as I care. All right. And my nigga. What do he do? Keep that nigga in jail. Keep him where he is. Just okay. saying, like, Black right. Lives Matter protesters didn't kill people. No, the real protesters, people who actually, people like us who actually care, who actually want justice. They didn't hurt nobody. They went out of their way to make sure that nothing else happened again. And again, only 7% of the BLM protests turned violent. And that was because police intervened and either antagonized the crowd or set up people. Mm. I was seeing videos of the niggas with the undercover cop uniforms wearing the snuggies and the masks with their earpieces on, throwing bricks in the building. Mm-hmm. He's and a police officer doing this stuff. So it's like, And then I seen one video, something that like burning a bunch of Trump flags and one dude, he was like trying to stop. He's like, I mean, yeah, fuck Trump, but quit burning stuff just he went out of his way he's telling people don't feed this fire and literally don't feed the fire this anymore. Gonna make you look bad. like i mean that was that meant more things than one don't feed the literal fire and don't feed that fire that's sit here and keeps giving us which i did see name. a lot of videos of uh, the beautiful protest peaceful protest where the police officers are engaging with the protesters yeah. and helping them people laying flat the on cities. the ground screaming i can't breathe that was amazing some Respect, people were kneeling yeah. with their fists up. Some people even started dance parties in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. There was a period of time where I can't remember that's which what my northern. First line I was listening to. If they don't care about us, because that honestly just gets <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's, a, that's a great. Michael, what he was talking about. Michael saw out his back then, and it still speaks today. Now people are using "This Is America" by Childish Gambino, which is a very much mm-hmm. relevant song for the very occasion. Relevant. But um, there was a city up north. That had completely disconnected from like the government and was like a rogue city. So you could go in there, no money, no food, no supplies, and people would just give it to you. That's what's up. And it was like a very small little community. I, I want to say it was Virginia, but I could be wrong. It was somewhere up north. Yeah, look at it. Maybe it's not up north. Virginia is like yeah, it's like right, like not like, there, but like up there somewhere. So no, maybe Virginia it was, and Tennessee. Maybe it was. Border, maybe, so it was fr- maybe it was further up. It was yeah. somewhere up there, but it was. It was like that for a while, and I don't know if it's still like that, but for a very long time, people could just go up there to find sanctuary. Um, 
But so far, like you said, 150 arrests have been made. So far. And like over 10,000 people were arrested for Black Lives Matter. And a lot of those were peaceful peaceful protests. Keep in mind, the 150 plus is being arrested by the FBI, not the local police. So that's a big deal. Them motherfuckers going to jail, jail. Yeah, they're not getting out anytime soon. And they're They're going to actually going to a cellar under the jail. They're they're still looking for all of these people. But the FBI, when you get the FBI involved, because the FBI. They're yeah, trying the, for years to yeah, do what the they vice do. Y'all yeah, threatened his life. Y'all yeah, sat there with nooses saying, hang Mike Pence. Y'all are going to jail. You can't do that. Um, again, fuck you, Elizabeth. I'm talking about it's a revolution. No, it's not. That's, again, that's Who what is com- Elizabeth? And why do you keep bringing her up? Because she's the one they faced me. It, it's hilarious. And we ain't got to watch it right now. I know, I know. Movie. I've seen I just didn't know what her name was. Her her name, she said her name. That's why I always say that. Like, fuck you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Um, I was ha- had a thought in my head. I now, like, obviously, I you know that's the main reason why I want to compare them and stuff too, because Black Lives Matter. That was not their intent. Again, we're not allowed to blame one bad cop for the other ninety-nine. We're not allowed to blame these fifty looters for the two thousand people who were laying on the ground screaming, "I can't breathe." But and the difference is, constantly. everybody who raided the Capitol came there with more motive, with the reason. motherfucking intent to end somebody's life. They were either going to kill and them they, or hold them And hostage. they sure enough did. I mean, they, I screamed, Black Lives Matter. I get counteracted with All Lives Matter. We get counteracted with Blue Lives Matter. Y'all took a blue life without hesitation. Yep. So, y'all were what the fuck? threatening <laughs> lives of congressmen and women. So I guess All Lives Matter. But y'all theirs. came in there searching to murder people. And you don't bring nooses just to just to be funny. Yeah, who brings? They nooses? even went as far as burning crosses on the Capitol building, like grass part. <laughs> like they did that. And this is why we sit here and say the Confederate flag is about heritage. What the fuck did the heritage have to do with y'all in that motherfucking Capitol? Again, not a goddamn thing. I, that just goes to prove my point. I not don't waste my time arguing. Thing. Y'all are some psycho racists. When he said. He said, do something. Y'all did it. And then expected a bailout. Y'all gonna say, it's a revolution. We're storming the Capitol. No, it's not. This this is not the same thing. You know what's thing. a revolution? Is like when you go against a system that is designed against you. No, Susan B. Anthony started a revolution. Alexander That's, Hamilton started a revolution. Yeah, Frederick Douglass started a revolution. Y'all were just a bunch of crybabies because y'all lost. No. That's, there ain't no other way that's to say it. y'all lost. And people are still in denial about that. Can you believe that? People are still, still in fucking denial. Yeah, for real. Yes, come on. Yes, I, 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 I kid you not. There ain't nothing still... to do now. He gone. He didn't even stay. And you know what's funny? I actually got respect for Mike Pence now. Why? Because he was there. Yep. He stayed there and because he watched it. As a VP, that's his duty. To do that, and you know, pass I that can't job speak. over to the next person. I can't and he speak did. for my president, but I can speak for me as the vice president or former vice president. I am obligated to be here, and that's why I'm here to yep. get. And right, they right. did just try to kill me last week, so I don't yeah, think I want to go yeah, and, and man, hang out man, with them no more. Yeah. Like my like me right of, now. So how hey, y'all doing? My kids is the type of guy who realized that his friend group is really really toxic, pretty and he tries much, to make like, up for it by going with the group that they used to bully in school. And it's just like, look, pretty pretty much. I know we got our differences, you know but we can we can work this out. Well, right? I don't want to the serious finale of everybody hates Chris. Like, yeah. oh. Uh, want to hang out sometime? You for real? Yeah. <laughs> want to hang out? I, I'm was, a, I was just messing with you because, you know... I've always actually secretly admired you. Yeah, I'm already you, secretly so admired That's exactly what Mike Pence was. He was the bully who always did that to Chris Rock all those years. And, and now that so, he's not... Y'all want to really, hang out? Yeah, we can just chill. I can make shots. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can just chill and be cool, man. Which they're probably not going to be funny, but... Not really, but um, he definitely sure, you come be, to the after party. I he's guess. definitely not going to be friends with Donald Trump because nah, even after, and this is an off topic as well. Even after Obama's presidency, him and Joe Biden were still cool with each other. Mike Pence and Donald Trump are not cool. With each other. <laughs> all, the president, all the presidents and vice presidents are still cool with everybody. That, that's, that's, I think. Yeah, George Bush and Dick Cheney still cool. Bro, right? you tried to Joe kill Bi- me, that's bro. Joe Biden and Barack. That's his homeboy. Yeah, that's his that's homie. like. 
Nah, that's over with. Like they, him they and Michelle, Michelle have, have like dinner together. parties with them and their wives. Like, yeah, they, George they Bush together. is best friends with Michelle. Let's be frank. That, that, that's his of, home girl. <laughs> and this is what I think is hilarious because he was talking about Michelle Obama's fit at the inauguration, mm-hmm. how dolled up she was. Yeah. At the Donald Trump inauguration, she I saw that comparison. Like, I don't want to fucking be here. She, this, this was like, okay, let's just get this over with. But, but she came much. to the Joe Biden inauguration. I saw it like a fashion. runway model. I just had her hair just pulled up and just. She had this yeah, yeah, ugly like, scrunch mug on her face. She was not happy mm-hmm, at all. Just this, this she, face. Like, but again, she was like way, obligated to be there. But in this case, she didn't have to be there. She chose to be there. And, just, and she I'm showed sorry out. for dripping. <laughs> And 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 Joe Biden's wife was looking good. Kamala Harris was looking good. And see, I was thinking this, and then somebody finally beat me to it. Like they look like the powerful girl. Yeah, I saw that. I was thinking that. I'm like, well, it's not pink, but it's close. And then she got on green, and I love that that VP Harris had the green on because Buttercup was my favorite. Which so. people don't talk about this enough that we have. The, the entire year of 2020 is going to go down in history as being it's one of the most wild. catastrophic years, not just for things that happened in like pop culture, the people who died or the things that went yeah. on, the pandemic, the Australian wildfires, but even politically, the government mm-hmm. took a massive hit in 2020. Major. But 2021, we made history yet again by electing our first female, female person of color VP. VP. That's she one. broken three barriers, being the first woman, being the first African American, and I believe what? She's a child of immigrants. So that's a humongous that's, deal. Yeah, right there. That's a little bit off topic, but not at the same time. No, it's not. Because it's not. people didn't want her there. They definitely didn't want her there. I can say this is off topic. Didn't. They didn't another white man they was cool with, but a woman of color? No. Oh fuck all that! Like that's, no 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 no. That's a so, yeah. Donald time. Trump, his election was stolen. No, the fuck it wasn't. And that's no, what the wasn't. real problem was. I think. It wasn't. It, Y'all it lost. Wasn't so much, like period. Y'all it fucking wasn't lost. so much Joe Biden. Joe Biden just took Donald Trump out of his seat. But the other underlying problem was mm-hmm. Kamala We're Harris. Y'all didn't want a woman. Y'all didn't want a woman. Y'all don't want a woman of color. Y'all don't want a woman that looks like me telling y'all Y'all don't want do. a woman, period. Because even Michelle Obama wasn't even technically in the presence. She did what first ladies did. But yeah. Kamala Harris is the VP. She got a little bit Her more power voice than the first is gonna lady. matter way more than Dr. Biden's voice is. Dr. Biden's just the new first lady. But this is the I didn't know she was a doctor. I didn't know she was a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. I was Biden. like, who in the world is that? I, I just came out and said her name is Jill Biden. I don't know why I didn't say Jill, but I doc, mean she's Dr. Jill Biden. That's cor- yeah. correct. Use the correct terminology. I just didn't know who, I didn't know she had a doctor degree, but that's great. Mm-hmm. Um but she, that's that thing, I think that bothered people the most. Yeah. That's why um, the day of the inauguration, I wrote a blog and said, like, I can never really hate Sarah Palin because 12 years ago, that could have been different. We almost had our first female, female VP. VP back then. Mm-hmm. It was a Republican. And, and again, that would have been making, I think you said that, that it was making history. It was way. a historical, historical event, regardless, Barack Obama, our first black president, or um, Sarah Palin, our first female, female VP. VP. And now we have Kamala Harris, our first and 12 years later, POC. It took a minute, but we got one. You know, I mean, it probably would have happened a little bit sooner if Joe Biden would have just ran right after his second term. But <laughs> I'm not going to sit here. He probably had other stuff going on. He, probably, he could have, because that's what Al Gore Because had. no, you know what? Bernie Sanders was running that same year, too. So maybe he didn't want to go up against Bernie Sanders. Because he probably thought he had a better a chance. chance. And for some reason, the Democrats chose Hillary freaking Clinton, which I ain't got nothing against Hillary Clinton, but I chose her Bernie Sanders. I love Bernie Sanders. This um, is a man my who- My dad would have been gone by now. This is a man who is literally fighting for the American people. 100%. Always has and, and always will. Of him with protests and stuff back in getting the day. arrested in the so 60s if that's somebody for the people i can't think of who was. that's what i'm saying and y'all but, chose hillary clinton i mean i, I don't know a lot it, about it, hillary clinton but the only reason why is because she got the name clinton attached to it so yeah. that's bill clinton's wife she knows everything and people love bill clinton so much that it's always gonna be another you know what i'm yeah. saying eight years of him and then y'all let Donald I think Trump that's what it. the scary part was too when it came to her and she could have did a good job. Man. People, she could have did a good job. People were too scared of having a female in power. Well, now you got a female VP. Well, Congratulations. We got, we got one regardless. We was gonna get one. Congratulations. At some point. It was either it was either gonna be Sarah Palin. It could have been Hillary. It could have been Elizabeth Warren. I love Elizabeth Warren. She was dope. Was she was she was another candidate who was running for president. It was like I said, it was like 20 plus people in the Democratic seat. 
uh, Elizabeth Warren was one of them. After Kamala Harris dropped out, she kind of stepped in and she challenged. <laughs> she challenged somebody and she did him so dirty. I said, bro, you have no chill. She was on SNL for a minute. She did. She was. She got. got up, she got that up there that she was doing SNL. Mm -hmm. You know, political figures. Oh yeah, that's that's. They try to bread and butter, baby. Yeah. Uh, what is her name? What is her name? The when they did the the debates, <laughs> and Jim Carrey was Joe Biden. Who <laughs> was Kamala Harris? She was a comedian. Oh, um. She was in growing up. She was Christina. I know. Life. Maya Rudolph. <laughs> Maya Rudolph. She plays. How the, did think about she that? plays the hormone monsters in Big Mouth. If you're not familiar, but um. Yeah, she played Kamala Harris in the. I know she's perfect for her. Her hair skits are perfect. And then what was it Alec Baldwin was Trump, who she he did a phen phenomenal oh, job. But I think Jim and Carrey as Joe Biden was perfect. <laughs> I think that was the greatest thing in the world I've that, ever seen in my life. Topic, I'm sorry, but because like, um, I was trying to think of people's names. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Elizabeth Warren would have been a good. I, I think people were anticipating. People are going to be intimidated about having a female in power. You see those. Just ba basically sexist but jokes you know about what? how she don't have a middle swing, and we gonna end up being. We a are song. literally we fighting a court over a five-year-old grown man self. who couldn't accept the laws to hit him an election. Like, uh, a woman gonna throw a fit. He this made Georgia. Lost. He made Georgia recount their ballots three times. Georgia. And they found like over seven thousand ballots for Joe Biden when they did the second recount, right. and he made them do it again. And then, uh, yeah, hold on, the hold on, hold on, hold on. They have recordings of him speaking to the governor of Georgia, telling him to just give him the popular vote. He just said, I, all I need is 11,000. Just give me the 11,000. No, this is ridiculous. He's literally on tape saying this to the people of Georgia and during their again, recounts. This you is cannot why do that. We're saying you can't compare the Capitol to Black Lives Matter. You can't. He's literally These people trying. Were fighting for for Breonna Taylor, for George Floyd, for everybody else. This man was just mad because he lost. He told them people, "Go burn shit yeah. because you because I lost. I'm mad. Yeah. Go do something." That's the right. That's not the same thing. Again, David Dorn, he was killed, he, and then like somebody quoted, "Like y'all killed a black man because they killed a black man." Like no. That's not right, and that motherfucker's in jail. He's gonna be in jail because again, a retired police officer. You going to jail? The federal police. You going to jail? Feel that you are fucking going to jail. From the Capitol, dude. But all these motherfuckers, y'all probably finna serve longer than him because oh, they absolutely will. Y'all serving it. Y'all lucky. Y'all all didn't get shot. Y'all want to stay in compete? He that was a fourteen year ex military veteran. She deserved better than that. Have been doing Did what you she see was the doing? Wait a second, wait a second. Did you see the night shift videos from the Capitol Friday? <laughs> Nathan, Nathan shared it on Facebook. Hey, he said the nine a.m. shift didn't come to play with y'all, and they got the baton, <laughs> and they are knocking niggas heads off. They beat one dude to the ground with the baton, oh, and then they just grabbed somebody and just swung them. I said, I "Oh God. my God!" I, I used to work second shift, so with that being Said facts. I'm to deal with this shit, nobody. Like, they didn't come like, play. I used to work second shift. Like, like, wait, what y'all do? Man, y'all motherfuckers <laughs> tripping. Bullshit. I'm getting my break today. <laughs> they came in there with the baton. They was beating. I'm, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. They were beating people. It's deserved. Like, and they, brother they were throwing people. Basically, they came in there knowing that a brother officer got killed today. Ah, oh, fuck this. They yeah, are. motherfuckers. All right, let's go. That Ooh. was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It was like, it was like, not. It was literally like pitch black or dark outside, and they are just getting ran. So, so the Black Lives Matter protesters, the people who were there, not starting anything. For the ones who were tear gas was probably still going through some stuff from being tear gas, especially they got asthma problems. Or if they got like shot in the face with a rubber bullet. With them rubber that... bullets, my heart goes out to y'all. I feel bad for y'all. The ones who were committing crimes, committing crimes, fuck y'all because y'all gave that shit a bad name. All uh, these US Capitol people, I don't feel bad for none of y'all. I don't give I'll laugh shit. at your face before I feel hard. Yeah, like talking about say her name. <laughs> Somebody used the um picture of Chris Evans from the um Avengers movies, him as an old man now. No, I don't think I <laughs> no, I don't think I won't. She's like smiling at everything. Say her name. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> She's just like, no, but wait, she was doing something. Brianna Taylor was at home sleep. This woman was breaking into a government building trying to 
kill the vice president of the United States. And I love when conservatives Bitch. try to use victims of police brutality to justify their actions. Like somebody, ah, mm. uh, yeah, what they try to say, the million MAGA march. Oh like, my god, you disrespectful. That was first of all, that was only like three thousand people. So <laughs> so <laughs> difference in that. Oh, that made me mad. It wasn't even. So, a million like I said, I follow Michael Rappaport, and he be reposting everything too. It and I'm like saying, yep, this pisses me off. Yep, thank you. He's hardcore against Trump. He, he fucked Trump all day, by the way. But um, so he's showing them like these fucking people, like, yo. And I don't want internet girl I told you about, he be cussing her out good too. Like, you you can't be that stupid. But people are that stupid. You get yeah. And you know, when it comes to like the generational curses that young people try to break, a lot of young people will say, I was ignorant at one point, I was like naive at one point, mm-hmm. and then my eyes got yeah. opened by seeing it firsthand. And now I'm not even in converse I with mean, my family anymore. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm broken it's, from that it's just different for everybody. You grow up, I mean, we live in Tennessee. I think we're going to hold it because we live in Tennessee. You got rural areas that are just still backwards to this day. Um, this old Lifetime movie Raven Simone was in, it's like a school in Georgia. They still had separate proms, black proms and white proms. It's like 2005. Yeah. And this, this, that was still going. I don't know if it stopped now, but I mean, they were still doing I think that the in last, 2005. I like the last segregation law that passed, and it was probably in Georgia, passed like 2017. I mean, they were still doing that. So yeah. segregation is still a thing that exists in certain like areas. People be in denial about that, like, um, like how black and white and stuff, just interracial marriages and stuff. Y'all know that only happened in 1967. The year our mother was born. I, I think and, people seem to be forgetting, like, yeah. And then like, yeah, a thing that kind of messed like, me no, up geez. is like they changed pictures in history books to make it seem like it happened a lot longer ago than it did. It, so it, all of those photos you see from like the Civil Rights Act, they're all supposed to originally be in color. They just made them black and white so it can seem like it happened such a long time ago. Mm. When in actuality, it, 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 it's like the years our like, parents were born. Yeah. So my father was born in 1965. and I just gotta look at that like that happened during their lifetime and my person he is Caucasian and <laughs> let me make a face and Your person him, shut up is well, like anyway we had a conversation I'm like I don't think you understand the difference like 50 years ago your grandfather could walk into a diner sit down order him a coffee and a sandwich he's like well you don't know what my grandfather went through I'm like no you missing the fucking point your grandfather could walk front door into a diner, sit down, and you know, order what? a cup of coffee, get a sandwich. Some people and don't. Our grandfather some had people to go to the back door. Some people won't get it until they see it. Yeah, that's I, and that's I, the I difference. You won't get it until you actually that. see like, it. Like here it is, Tennessee, 1951. Your Caucasian grandfather was able to walk through a front door versus our grandfather had to walk through the back door. Or there was just a that there no or, no, or he wasn't even allowed to go in there. Probably just got off work. Probably tired and shit. The next nine I know for a fact to take color people is ten miles that way, and I'm tired. Just y'all like ignoring y'all ignoring that. <laughs> y'all are really ignoring people that. People won't believe it because they're just blindsided by the fact that they haven't had to experience that person. Mm-hmm. So to them, it doesn't exist, and that's that whole white privilege thing. Where you just yeah. just because you don't experience it doesn't mean it doesn't, it doesn't exist. happen. Yeah. You can use that argument to say that you know uh, poverty in other countries is. is it is. is. We know that we know that it's high in India. But just because you don't but see also, it doesn't mean it's not happening. India has a higher population, so I mean, it's the high population. The more it is, that's not the point. Yeah. My point is, just because you don't see it happen or because it's not affecting you directly, doesn't mean yeah. that it it isn't yeah. happening. So a white person who is in denial about the idea of white privilege, just because you haven't been personally affected by discrimination mm-hmm. doesn't mean that discrimination isn't occurring in life. Another and then you hit them with I these with scenarios. Well, what did that person do? They didn't do anything. One, I learned to stop talking about politics at work, even though mama keeps telling me to stop you, doing that. You're, that was that, that lesson was, number one. That you don't talk about religion sense. and politics. Well, I at school. had an old boss who was cool like that. and I, still, I don't care how cool you are. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> But now nah, I had this conversation though. And I think I have a mask. I had to take my mask off because it was getting real. And I was trying to call Nate. He's like, "Were well, you trying to call me? Are you still talking to them?" I'm like, "No, of course not." He's like, "I wish you would have. I wish I just put me on speaker." Nathan is the. I was speaking out um because my uh, coworker she was there and 
I'm like, well, what is the difference between Black Lives Matter? It's just saying, I know my life isn't worth more than hers, but her life is definitely not worth more than mine. Yeah. This, I think that's what people like, like have a sense in like, like the, um, what was the hashtag going on? If they shot me down. I think that was the hashtag. I don't want to see that. I was back in the day, because this was back when Mike Brown and stuff. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, if they shot me down, the hashtag was, so it was a picture of you, maybe me, like, right, like a picture of me right here with this, like, get, get in my goddamn wand. But I'm trying to show you an example for you. Jack I get it. I, like, I you know, don't get, get for it. Basically, you in that bottle right now, getting tipsy tonight, what, what? Like, is that the picture they gonna use? Or... The picture of you with your diploma surrounded holding baby Ethan when and you I'm graduated gonna bring from high school. Brianna Taylor back up because she ain't got no pictures like that. She don't. She has pictures of her pictures. going out on the town in a well-fitted, beautiful dress or in her and MT uniform. I think that breaks her heart. A, or in a um Halloween costume. And she's like a little Christmas fireplace or something like yeah. that. That's how their pictures. I mean, so she you, doesn't she even have photos woman. that you can even use to say, "Oh, she was a bad person." I no, think she her wasn't. family made sure to go out of her way. Like y'all could have post these fucking pictures with her. Y'all and even when I see post pictures that are different, they're never like, like negative mm-hmm. for her that's image. Still, I still know that picture of Mike Brown. So they still go back to that picture of him, like his graduation picture, and that picture with money in his mouth. That I don't even think that's him. That's still like an argument. They're like, is that even him in that picture? If it if it isn't, y'all are fucking bastards for that. Y'all went out of y'all way to just make that as an as an example. Of but the internet, the same is thing true. with Trevon Martin. They damn sure went out of their way to like. First off, that was a fucking regular citizen. You could be. Wasn't he stacked. like? He was like my age. He was seventeen. You and, he's a little bit older than me, but he was like close to my age. Let's like point out now. this though. You could literally be getting stabbed. You're on the phone with 911. Yeah, this man has stabbed me to death, but I got a gun in my pocket. Can I know? Don't shoot him. Put the gun down. They're going to tell you to do that. That was like a little show call, like 911. We're on 911 calls. This woman's hiding in the closet with her son with a gun. She hears somebody like tearing her house up, basically looking for her. The 911 operator the whole time is telling her to put the gun down. Because they don't want they you to will sit here and tell you your life is in immediate danger. And they will tell you to put your license gun down and do not shoot. And again, so George justify... Zimmerman had no fucking right to follow an unarmed teenager down the dark street at night. They told you don't do it. They got, that's Sir, the cops are on their way. Do not follow the suspect. Trayvon Martin's case bothered me too because like, I know people who were his age that I hung out with who, were, who did like the group that I was with in high school which is around the town that happened. We would just walk to convenience stores. We walked everywhere. Because yeah. know none of us have cars. So yeah, again, a, that could have been anybody. Yeah, it was a tickly wiggly before that closed down. That was right down the street from us. How many times got a board? You want to just walk to the store? Yeah. At home board, like I don't know, fuck this ice cream or something. So, so that could have been anybody. That could have really been anybody. And people defended that guy and he got off. Like I saw somebody say something on Twitter. I think I said America fucked up when they chose not to make an example of George Zimmerman. I think he got arrested for something again. He got again. arrested about six, seven times since then, <laughs> since 2012. He's been arrested multiple times since Why then. Why don't they just like and but yes, the 17 year old that he followed was the problem. And he just, probably had a couple of bad records before then too. He got arrested so many times after because you don't just get arrested one time yeah. and then let it keep for happening. Murder. You had none of the radar. Ain't nobody allowed to see. Ain't when nobody ever see me again. That's what I'm saying. So and the fact the that you fact still that out you, here doing, you tried stuff. to do like a fucking celebrity boxing match before. Like, what the fuck were y'all even thinking about inviting this man to do something like that? People are sick in the head, man. But if, if I learned anything from just existing in the universe, people are really just twisted, mm-hmm. sick in the head. And people, and like, some of it I, I can and be This is a mistake. Things I did have a conversation with a random customer about the Zimmerman trial and um, why do you do I should have been fired trial? from like so many jobs but thank God that I got cool managers because I got pulled to the back office and basically told yeah don't do that again I okay don't, I don't even know why you bothered. I don't know why I did that either it was I was upset and maybe I, I was it upset makes me a little and... ignorant to avoid these conversations or to not want to address them because I'll share things on my Facebook my Twitter um, that make me on, that makes me laugh there. or that makes me feel good. Not that I'm being ignorant to the things that are happening. I'm well aware that these things exist, but 
that gets devastating after a while. Like you get really, really depressed about it. And every once in a while, there's nothing wrong with making yourself laugh. So I'd rather watch something that makes me laugh or makes me smile than to constantly see the horror and destruction that's happening around. But it doesn't mean that I'm ignorant to it. It doesn't mean that I don't know that it's happening. Like I'm well aware of who these people are and what's going on. That's why I posted that video of me like, forget politics real quick. Y'all ain't never heard her talk. I ain't never heard us talk. Let's just forget about this crazy, crazy shit going on. And watch this cute little girl playing Itsy Bitsy Spider. Yep, that's what we did. Are you talking about Mia? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she knows the song really well. Perfectly. But now here's something else, though. Um, we're not going to talk about how I found this site, which is called um, Epoch. I don't know the name. Of the site is- uh, Epoch. I'm pushing this, 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 is stupid. Stupid. Right now. this is beyond stupid. Um, so far, I'm just looking through and it says controversies. Pro, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Um, Pro Trump conspiracy theories and disinformation. I don't think we need to be talking about this. I'm, I'm, I'm already. Whoever uh, the maker of you are, you're a fucking idiot. You know, I'm just end it with I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm already. Because not just the little bit that I have seen, I only like what the fuck. Basically, agreeing that the election was rigged and the headlines. We're not gonna let this election be stolen from us. Here's what President Trump wants here's, you to do. Like, stop. Here's what he I loves. About that. Why are y'all hold on, hold on. Because the fact that he got 78 million people to vote for him is flabbergasted. But Joe Biden had 81. Kanye was there too. He, uh, Joe Biden had 81 million people. 81. That's a lot. Oh, they did the recount. By, they said, found more eight. votes. Oh, and then he kept they had higher. they had found more votes for Joe Biden after the recounts in the three. What was it? Georgia, Pennsylvania, and mm-hmm. was it California? No, Michigan. it was it was Michigan. Okay, so out of those three That's states, he demanded the recounts for. Be careful in those states because we don't know what's going to happen. So out of those three states. They found more votes for Joe Biden after they did the recounts, and they did Georgia's recount, like I said, three times. Right. Because and they found Georgia is seven. Is Georgia and and the fact that Georgia flipped blue blew my mind yeah, because gotta, Georgia I, I, is I, a red I, state. Just I like gotta say this real quick: when let motherfuckers tell you votes don't matter, they clearly fucking do. Absolutely, Georgia. There was a woman in Georgia, who, Georgia. who got enough said. Um. I think 30,000 unregistered black residents registered to vote, and that's what helped the state. And they all blue. got up and they went and voted. So you can so, register all day on election day. Are you going to take your ass down and actually put that ballot in? That, that blew my and mind. They when did. I saw it. <laughs> when I well, saw the judges, all them black people who kept moving to Atlanta to start over, thank y'all for voting. Yeah. I mean, but I, I mean, real. facts. But again, don't say voting don't of- matter. Because again, somebody would say like, "Well, what's the point of voting? Nothing's gonna change." I'm like, "That is your white man privilege they showing." And I would say that you like, literally that is your a- white man privilege showing. Don't say votes don't matter. They clearly fucking do. You literally flipped a red state, bro. A red state wouldn't go. How often does that happen? It doesn't happen That's too often, happening. especially for a cult leader like Donald Trump to have such loyal followers in all red states the all fact that a red that state split look at georgia's history all the stuff that's happened during slavery the tennessee would have flipped that would have blew my mind completely. oh my god i would have i, I, I would have been, been ooh, that would have so been proud something. of tennessee if they would have flipped but it still made me happy to know that because in murfreesboro i'm seeing trump flags up all day i don't I'm see like, none of that here <laughs> again this again davidson county tennessee blue county nashville blue city I, I moved to Rutherford County because it's cheaper out there, but that's that's baby, that's red, red. And I mean, I see like, a couple yeah. of Trump supporters here and there with the MAGA shirts and the MAGA hats. They don't ever say nothing. Oh uh, no, during the they don't ever be doing anything. I, I'll sit here and say we know not all people are are racist. We know that because yeah. um when I just got my dog Titan, he was a pup about three months old. We went to Pitbull Awareness Day, and again, he's a pup about three months, so he's cute. Like, oh, he's so adorable. I was trying to fix his collar. I turned around. There's a girl. She got to be a teenager. And she got the Trump on. Her daddy's right next to her. Trump on. I know I'm making her face like, oh, hi. And can we cut the fuck? Yes, sign. And then her daddy wants to take a picture with him. I'm like, yeah, she can pick him up. It's fine. I'm, I'm thanking him, but I'm not going to sit here and be ignorant. Why? Because she had to be like 16, 17. And it's a... It was a Titan was cute as puppy. You can't deny that. Yeah, he was adorable. He was adorable. So you, go, you just wanted to play with the puppy. I'm, I'm not fit to be rude to you, 
don't be rude to me. I won't be rude to you. I don't agree with your political you views. You I don't. And again, I know I'm mad like, oh, get away from me. But, but, but I just want to touch again, my dog. Okay. politics is not. I'm not going to sit here. Some and be rude people to are you. just like, and I learned this too. There's a difference between being a Republican and being a Donald Trump supporter. You can be yeah. a Republican because you don't. 100% agree with what democratic that's politicians doing, do so you're and that's them. fine but when you personalize your political affiliation this damn microphone could be running for president as a republican you're gonna people are gonna vote for this fucking microphone because it's a republican exactly that's just the reality and i think uh sam smith from american dad is a great example of just <laughs> being yes. a republican he's not a republican Public was a genius he's not that. a republican he's not he wouldn't be like a diehard trump supporter he's just a republican yeah so he doesn't care who the republican candidate is He's voting for them because he doesn't like what Democrats I just, do. Coincidentally, I was just watching that Lincoln Lover episode last night because that episode's hilarious. And that's where the thing And my that's, a, that's a really good episode. Um, I'm not the biggest Seth MacFarlane as a person, but um, American Dad, is, American Dad is hilarious. And that episode, he went all out for that one because it's called Lincoln Lover. And he, um, Steve, Sam Smith, <laughs> Um, I know as we portray Abraham Lincoln as gay. So naturally, when he does a play about Abraham Lincoln and his special friend, who comes up there? Nothing <laughs> but gay people. Nothing but gay men proudly watching it, loving it, and saying, come to our Republican Party. And then and like, oh, wait, y'all are all gay, but we're Republicans. Like, And I like how the episode ends, I was saying, Nobody chooses to be gay, but, but they, they did, did choose, choose to be, be Republicans. Republicans. That episode's hilarious, by the way. You'll love it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I, I, love I, that I was actually going to say that line also. No one chose to be their sexual orientation, mm-hmm. but they did decide. And he tries, by the way. Watch it. It's hilarious. He tries. Because <laughs> he's like, you can choose to be gay. He's like, no, no you, you can't. can't. But either you, you are or you're not. But you can, I can choose to be a Republican. And then the dude that he's trying to be gay with, his significant other is a Democrat. So they have Oh, yeah. Views. That was very... <laughs> It's okay, let's not give it away. We didn't, no, we didn't give it a whole episode. Which, away. you know, you can't judge anybody based off of their political affiliations or their sexual orientation. No. But gay Republicans really do don't make sense to me. That's like being Thanks. a black Republican. Like, I don't get that either, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not here for it. I'm not even a political person, like I said. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, I think I get that question a lot. Like, well, I was raised, I was raised Democrat, so you know, I have to be honest on it. It's how we know. look at it if people ask, but like, we definitely grow up and we kind of pick our own views. I mean, yeah, I'm just um, like you do. We fuck with... Donald Trump all day in this house, no questions asked. I mean, but, but... I, I can still people who I know who voted for Donald Trump didn't vote for Donald Trump because it's Donald Trump. They voted for Donald Trump because he's a Republican. Republican. And an actual quote from him back in like the 80s and 90s, if I ever ran for office, I would run as Republican because these are the dumbest people out there. That motherfucker, one line, he lies about a lot of shit, but he wasn't lying about that. Right. I mean, he proved it. He told y'all to jump. And y'all said, how high? So no, that, y'all said, jump. Of- how about I jump over this wall, jump through this window? Okay, you're gonna get shot, but go ahead. And then, and so that's my only argument. I can't even get mad at every single Republican that I speak to because my old roommate from college, she's she considered herself a liberal Republican. She's she's all about letting people be free because she's Christian. So, but she's not the Christian that's like, oh, if you're gay, you're going to hell, Christian. She's the love thy neighbor as you love yourself, yourself. Christian. She's a good Samaritan Christian. The first stone. She's <laughs> that, so she's like a real Christian. Like, so, if you're going to be a real Christian, first of all, I want to see, I saw that on an interview too, Donald Trump. What's one of your favorite Bible quotes? What's really personal? Like, just quote one. That's really personal. Just quote one. All you got to do. I don't read the Bible, so I can't tell you. I mean, I but, can't tell you either, but at the same time, no. Or if you, um, like look at your shirt you're wearing uh, what's your favorite part of that movie uh, you can sit here and name a million points look at this aerial tattoo what's your favorite part of this movie I can sit here and name you that whole movie and I'll describe to you so perfect you won't even need to see the movie but no so she's the type of Christian who's like that and she's she was born or she was raised Republican but she's more of a liberal Mm -hmm. in the sense of people should be able to do what they want as long as it doesn't hurt anybody she's Mm -hmm. not anti-gay she doesn't go to anti-gay rallies she supports the LGBT she may not understand it but she's not going to criticize you for because that's not the godly thing to do but she's 
Republican. So she would vote Republican not because of who's running in office, but because that's just the political affiliation. Okay, like, you know I was what? about to click on something else, but I like how this popped up on the MSNBC. That's because they can hear The trial is stupid. Senate Republicans throw cold water on Trump impeachment. He should have got impeached. Who is that's, that? I don't even know. I'm not clicking on that. I'm just about to start. It was funny. Was and you know what? And this is this is my conspiracy theory. The reason why he was trying to avoid the theory. reason why he was trying to avoid these impeachments and avoid, you know, getting booted out of office is because he has a lot of arrest warrants out for him right now, and a lot of them have and to do with like sexual he couldn't assault. Pardon himself. That's why I'm sitting here like there. He like, couldn't flee the country either. He tried to flee the country. They said they stopped him from doing that. He can't uh-huh. do that. He has arrest warrants out from people in other countries. I wrote another blog about, you know, the election, like, be smart, like, y'all talking about, like, I'm voting for Trump because, you know, he stands with Christian values. No, he doesn't. Like, I really want to see this man at a church. I haven't seen that. That he picture. tear gas, pro- peaceful protesters, <laughs> that is facts. These people were pro. They were not looting. They were not burning. They were not doing anything. He they were just forced them out of the area. He, so he can take a picture. the area. And y'all don't try to defend. Well, he is the president. He should not. He, he should have stayed his ass over there. That. He did that so he could take, so he could a, take picture a picture in front of a church that he's never been to, holding a Bible upside down. Yep. And he wasn't that, even holding it right. Like he was holding that, it like. Don't that mean something? A school that book. <laughs> it does. It probably does. Now, right? I feel like it means something. I'm not. I'm not. Religious affiliated either, so I ain't even um, discuss that. But I have my views as well, so it is what it is. We, we but the we point don't fake is, it though, though. the point is, and and <laughs> I had to sit here and say, hold that. on, the Stormy Daniels situation. What type of <laughs> good Christian gets blasted out by a porn star mm-hmm. who was contractually obligated not to speak on her affair with him? But then, as soon as that contract expired or the money stopped coming mm-hmm. in. She told her everybody everything. Mm-hmm. Like I was, she's she went into detail. She's being a gold digger, and he was paying her. Oh, she's a porn star. Here. She's a porn star. It's literally her job. Here? Her job. She was in the forty-year-old version when uh, Andy I, or I Steve Carell was having that fantasy I, trying yeah, to pleasure himself. The girl he was seeing with her boobs out—that was Stormy Daniels. <laughs> That's who Donald Trump had That's an affair with, I'm bro. sitting here saying, like, oh, he's anti-abortion. So I'm like, please, there'd be, please. I'm pretty sure a lot of more women could come up and say, like, so here's my hospital records, and here's the check that he used to help cover that and all my other expenses. He has 27, either, either the 27 or 37 sexual assault allegations against him, and a good majority of those were from children who were underage at the time. Like thirteen boys and girls. Like, what's the guy's name? Jeff Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Um, fuck that guy. And people want to see, keep saying like, "Oh, he didn't kill himself. He was a sexual predator." Fuck him. I mean, but he was killed. I don't give a whether shit. by himself or by somebody else to cover up the fact that he was running like a sex trafficking island with Donald Trump as his main customer, and that's the reason shit. why fuck he him. was arrested. But he was going to go to try to go against Donald Trump, which is why he was murdered in the first place. And that's why people are saying it's not because he died. Yeah, he was a sexual predator, but he was going to go on trial to speak against Donald Trump, and that's what got him killed. Well, if anybody was trying to get, you know, compensation or anything, that does so a curveball. That's what I'm saying. So that's the only thing to be upset about. But and that's why we're really sorry that he's dead. Hell no, fuck him. I mean. We had to take a quick break real quick, so anyway. Um, but final thoughts. Again, I'm going to make this extremely, extremely clear. I am not going to argue with conservatives. I'm not going to waste my breath, okay. waste my energy, waste my mind power or my intelligence trying to convince closed-minded, narcissistic, entitled individuals that entitled. the system is corrupt, broken, and distraught. <laughs> and the only ones who benefit from them are them, which is why they don't see a problem. I, mean, I refuse is. To waste my time. It is, that. but not for y'all. I can't say it. Like, maybe the poor white people from certain areas. Which, and they know? are even as entitled as the wealthy and but better at the same off. Time, them the ones who stormed the Capitol, though. Yeah. Them are the ones who stormed the fucking Capitol. The billionaires are sitting back knowing they can buy their way out of anything. They don't fucking care. Or they'll hop in to do it for them. Or they hire somebody. But... 
you, you can't even defend the poorer ones because they're sitting here. They're the strongest Trump supporters out there. And those are the most close. But like, yeah, he don't care something. about the working man. Let's be real. He don't. Donald Trump is what I would consider. I had this scenario based off of the different types of villains that exist in pop culture. He is, a real life he is the power hungry super villain who by that I mean he will do any and everything to maintain a position of power. That includes killing people, blackmailing, you know, throwing his conservatives in jail, his partners in jail. His running mate under the fucking bus. He will do he any and everything to maintain a position of power and, and have a certain amount of money. And he will associate himself with people who have that same kind of mindset. And that's dangerous yeah. for somebody to have that much money and that much power, but he wants that. That's the type of villain that he is. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not going to call him a super villain because he's not smart, but he is definitely that type of villain, for sure. <laughs> if he was smart, he would have, first of all, he would have been, this wouldn't even have been a conversation. Like, yeah. he's not smart enough to be a super villain. He's not charming enough to be a super I know, villain. He just has a lot of money and a lot of power. When the 2016 election came out, people were sitting here thinking like, yeah, I think he's going to make the purge for real. Because I feel like he would actually make some shit like that for real. He's not that smart. He ain't. Because let's be honest, if the purge was real, him, his billions, they'd be safe. We would be the ones, we would be the ones that get killed. I know, I mean, you put your strap, so. Any final thoughts for you, though? Final thoughts is, I know for me, just we're not allowed to sit here and compare the Capitol riots to the Black Lives Matter process. They're not the same. Again, I'm not defending any of the deaths that happened there. Not like rest in peace david dorn thanks for trying to thank you for trying to still protect your community even after the hat was put away um you are appreciated for that and uh, i'm glad that killer was caught any other innocent people who were killed those part people have been caught they have been arrested and it didn't have to come that way but the u.s capitol again it's not the same thing y'all came there with the intent murder was on your mind there's no defending y'all there's no feeling bad for y'all i don't my heart's not gonna let me do it i'm a good person but i, I'm not. I got my limits I'm, I'm an asshole i don't so I, I don't feel i don't feel again the fucking woman who was killed like i'm i, I can't feel bad for her because she sat here and talked shit about brianna as well and just like yeah I, i'm not for the anybody who talks shit about the brianna taylor case can i can't I, i'm not gonna feel sorry for you and like you can swallow a snake and die well right here. i feel sorry for the cop who was killed my heart goes out to that cop who was doing who was doing his job. Like y'all stay sane. Mm-hmm. So and that didn't mean anything. That didn't mean shit to y'all. So the number keeps climbing up every day, every day. More people are getting arrested. Again, we got billboards. If anybody knows anything, call the FBI. Y'all motherfuckers <laughs> going to jail. <laughs> They are looking yeah, for these people. Going to jail. They are looking for you. You, you, you can. Just, there is nowhere safe go, for you to hide. They are going to find you. Find bro. you, <laughs> bro. They are. They are getting everybody, bro. One hundred fifty plus. The FBI is not one yeah. to play with, man. They. You don't have to come and confess. <laughs> they, yeah. It, that's that's it, that's that's the reality. In that discussion, man, just. I think yeah, that is the greatest thing people in the world. Who, Shout out to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are on the most wanted list. Do. Yeah. Y'all the are on FBI the most wanted list. The FBI is finally something we've been wanting to see for years. Y'all are making fucking examples of oh, the yeah. right people this time. And because they're trained we professionals can, with we years can be of experience. more appreciated for it. They understand the severity of the case. The FBI don't care what your nationality is. They don't care what your race is. They don't care what your sexual orientation is. If you are a danger or a threat to the country and the citizens within it, you are getting arrested. Everybody who tried to storm that Capitol again, that woman got shot. She really had her leg through that window like, lady. This is the secret service you're playing with, bro. They are trying. Like, should they be trained differently? No. 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 It's a secret service. Secret service. Abraham Lincoln was sitting in a, watching a play and somebody coming behind him and shot him dead in the head. It was was taught after that. Y'all shoot to kill. No questions asked. And y'all had a period to kill the VP. Y'all came there. They were not going to let y'all do that. No. Y'all done. So, no, nobody. 
um, say something like that. He needs that FBI. I need to go arrest that person. Yeah. Actually, he's gonna get a medal. So that's what that's gonna be. He, it. Was, doing he was doing what the fuck he was supposed to do. He, what he was trained to do. And yep, it is what it is. Not for the, none of y'all people who got arrested. Anybody who got maced, hurt, tasered. Whatever beaten with a baton or swung to the ground get by the flying fucking shit if your shoulder got dislocated and you can never pop it back into place. Good, have fun in jail. Fuck yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can say. That's so funny. <laughs> this has been great. This has been a wonderful conversation. Great, great.